What's up, y'all? Welcome back to episode number 16 of our Road of the Show starting pitcher here on the show 23. Uh, kind of did away with this for a couple of episodes. Got the center fielder going. Got a new Madden franchise going. So go ahead and check those out after this video. Sub to the channel while you're at it. Leave a like on those. Leave a comment down below. Check out my other series I got. But let's go ahead and get into this one. Last time out, we had another dominant performance. And I was recently told we will be making an appearance in the Futures All-Star Game. So don't think I'll be pitching that game against the Smokies. Because I believe the Futures game is on Sunday. So, but I don't know. We'll have to see here. We'll go ahead and play next appearance. Yeah, Futures All-Star Game. Oh, we're the starting pitcher. Okay. We are in the American League since we are on the White Sox. A couple of those, a few of those guys are actually in the majors. Westbrook's in the majors. Soderstrom starts at first base for the A's. Volpe has been the starting shortstop all year. Uh, what about on the other side? Painter would be in the majors if he wasn't hurt. I uh, looked down the lineup here. Walker is the everyday left fielder for the Cardinals. Lawler could come up soon for the Diamondbacks. I'm not sure. I doubt it. Mervis has played for the Cubs this year. Henry Davis starts for the Pirates, and I think that is everybody. I'm not actually sure who Jake Sh Sheener, Shiner. I'm not actually sure who that one is. Everyone else though is like top prospects, you know, around the league. But we are going to be going up against Mr. Andrew Painter of the Phillies here. He has had a very solid season in his own right, but we have been outright dominant. So let's see if we can uh, keep that up here, and hopefully we can. Where are we in Colorado? No, where are we? Oh, we're in Seattle. Colorado was last year. Some random guy throwing out the first pitch. We'll see what he, Oh, wow. What a nasty pitch. That was weird. But we're on the bump to start. We are the home team since it is Seattle. Our season stats look unreal. We haven't walked anybody. I thought I had. But our season stats look unreal. I mean, it is a video game, and we are on All-Star. So, I mean, hopefully we can throw a little bit harder here in the uh, game. Nah, we're sitting about the same as usual. Nah, nothing wrong with that. Let's throw the circle change. All right. Man, I need Tyler Shoulders from Ah, uh, maybe not. He gave, made me give up a hit in the first, first AB here. Not a big fan of that. Only gave up 37 of those all season. 127 innings. There we go. Yeah, it's 83. Are we calling 83 a solid fly ball on the exit below? I mean, come on now. It's our first time on a big league mound, though. And we're not out to the best starts, honestly. We got a single up the middle. Hit a fly ball to center field. Let's see if we can lock it in here. Nah, I'm going sinker. Ooh, good pitch. Ooh, we'll go cut her down and in here. Ah. Ooh, hit and run. Okay. I said, I seen the runner take off, and I was mad I didn't do a better job of holding him. There we go. Give him a look. Oh, we got to get that by him. Come on. I know Tamara Johnson plays for the Pirates, but I don't know what pick he was last year. But he's going to be pretty good, I think. I want to say he was number four last year. I don't remember. Yeah, the Pirates have, Pirates have uh, had a couple top picks the last few years because they have been religiously bad. Why is Jordan Walker wearing number 67? Either go foul or catch it. Oh, come on. Get the ball in. Jordan Walker has 82 speed. I don't feel like that's accurate. He got lucky on that swing. Hey, there we go. Good pitch. I said, we have got to lock in here. Ooh, good pitch. Ooh, we could have went sinker. I said, but I'm going for it. We're up in the zone. We're getting the punchy. Do we get to go two in? Oh, we do get to go two in. They got us four runs. Yeah, see, I need something like that. We never get run support. I said, I'm trying not to get rocked here. 
strike the ball. Uh, we got to throw strikes, though. Come on. I say it's a little bit different playing against actually good prospects, mostly in AAA, than, you know, playing guys in AA. There we go. Making plays. So I was trying to get under, but he was sprinting around the ball. So we're, uh, we're holding our own pretty well here against top prospects. Might bode well for us getting called up for AAA after the All-Star game here. Ooh, that might be gone. Oh, how did he not catch that, though? I got back up third. Oh, he's toast. Yes, sir. Good throw. Good throw. Good play. What do you get the ball in? Who is in left field? Left field, left field. Jacob Melton. And then the throw was either from Holiday or Volpe. I didn't see who it was. But that was a very good cutoff. Drew Jones looks way taller than like 6'3", 6'4". He looks like he's about 6'7". Who can pitch? I'll rock out with another one. Yeah, definitely a lot of top... This is a hoo -hoo banger. Let's go, good pitch. That's probably our last inning. Yep. Hey, we got a couple solid innings in though. Did go with a couple of hits. I wasn't vibing with that. Yeah, two innings. Man, three hits in two innings. A three punch out. Oh, we got the win. Nice. I messed with that. Hey, we did strike people out in both innings. We gave up three hits in two innings. That's more than we've gave up in like our last couple starts. We regress on home runs for nine, but progress and everything else. A lot of those guys are knocking on the door of the majors or actually in the majors. Oh, it was on Saturday? What? So we might still pitch this? So we will not be pitching in the All-Star game. Is what I am gathering. But we are taking on the Smokies, the double-A team of the Chicago Cubs. If you have not watched another video, if, if you haven't, go check the previous videos we have out. So you uh, are caught up to speed. But if you have watched them all, We'll keep on enjoying. We'll keep on rocking to this one. We are at Main Street Field taking on the Tennessee Smokies. You are 2-9. and nine. We are 7-4. and four. And let's see if we can mow through these hitters here. Coming off a decent, you know, performance in the Futures game. Let's see if we can lock these guys down a little bit. Ooh, he's just overmatched by 97. Let's throw it again. Ah, got to finish. I say we got a good chance of being caught up soon, I think, if we can perform you know, pretty well here. But key word is if we perform well. So, you know, we just got to work on stuff. We got to pound the strike zone, you know, throw good pitches, make outs, maybe throw, you know, perfect game, no hitter, something crazy. I really wanted to pitch in the All-Star game, though. I wish it would have lined up to where we could. But... It is what it is. I mean, they still might give us an inning, actually. I say I, I doubt it, since it's literally the day after our start. Ooh, uh, we fought 77. So 83 and 77 is the difference maker. Six miles an hour is the difference between weak and solid. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that one. Seems kind of iffy to me. Ooh. That was a. Banger, too. Come on. Gotta call that one, huh? Well, we come back with a strike there. Oh, we got a little sinker here. Ooh, good pitch. Uh, nah, I'm not going. Oh, wait, I'm going up and in. I'm going very up and in. We'll go up and away this time. Good pitch. 97. Straight doors by him. Oh, look, we're back to getting no runs. So number three, all-star board. He's having a pretty solid season so far. I say the Cubs have got some good younger prospects. I will give them that. A lot of them are in double-A, it seems like, as well. Good way to jam them up. 
Circle change, sinker. No, I'm going circle change. We go slurve to lefty way too often. Good pitch. I say we have got to progress that circle change. So if we don't throw it, it ain't gonna get better. I'll take the free strike. Thank you, sir. So we are definitely pounding the zone and working quick here. Let's go up the way up the cutter here. I say we are just what the uh, current White Sox need, Loki. We need that bona fide ace. Who is going to consistently be an ace. We had Gilito, he would look like one, and then he wouldn't. Dylan sees, you know, runner up in Cy Young voting last year has been real hit or miss this year. You know, kind of 50 50. You know, sometimes you get last year, sometimes you get. I don't even know. But that seems to be the case with most of our pitchers. We'll have guys throw one amazing season, and then they don't look like they remember how to pitch. They look like they're just out there throwing. Ooh, I thought he. 88 is a weak fly ball, but 83 was a solid fly ball. Make it make sense. Also, we still have not. Oh, Ronnie Gonzalez. It's a former White Sox. First on the Smokies with a 400 average. Yeah, I'd say so. It seems like he doesn't have as many as bats as everybody else, though. Seeing as he only has four RBIs with no home runs. Through the last four games, he has been hitting the ball well. But. Yeah, it's just kind of the, uh, the running theme with White Sox pitchers. We cannot have, you know, consistent seasons where they look, you know, good. Or even, like, above average. Also, we are lighting up the radar. Gun. Ah, well, I wouldn't call it that. I mean, we're sitting 96, 97. So, I mean, velocity is definitely ticked up from, you know, the start of the, start of the season. Doors on 97. I say because we started out throwing like 92, 93, 94. Now we're sitting 96, 97. Hey, and we got two runs. Let's go. Ooh, good pitch. Ooh, last game over five. Sick mustache, though. I messed with that. Up there commanding the play. Oh, I need that. Come on now. Come on up, squeezing me. Oh, we got to throw. Oh, our first walk of the season came on a strike. Not a whole lot I can do about that. I know it's a walk, but I threw two strikes. Well, I threw three and I only got one. Man. Oh, there went the perfect game. Didn't think I was going to lose it like that. That's ridiculous. I don't even know what to say with that one. That was some buffoonery by the ump there. All right, why are we continuously throwing slurs? All right, that works. We got two. Good play, good throw, good throw. Way to roll two there. Wouldn't have needed it if I would have just gotten... Some strike calls. Are pre now, see, that's the same spot. Uh, this ump is squeezing. He's, and he's going to drive me. Okay. I don't understand now. Make it make sense. Hey, I'll take that, though. He just looked at three, three fastballs. I say, not definitely would have swung at the last one. That's a ball. Plays it one now. See, that's what I'm saying right there. We got to get the circle change, you know, more consistent. Got to be able to throw it, you know, more consistently. Yeah, we are... We are slur merchants. Now, let me get that. Man, come on. I don't know who's behind the plate. But we are still rolling. No more runs. But, ooh, what a play from Victor Ray. Oh, see, yeah, that was a solid fly ball. That one wasn't even, I mean, it was 86. Man, look at that play. Mm. Kind of, you know, teleported into his glove. But you know what? We're not going to talk about that. We're just going to, ooh, hoo, hoo, another beautiful pitch. We are 
Looking good right now. Definitely appreciate Victor Reyes out there in right field. You know what? I like that pitch. That was a good pitch. That was also a good pitch. Making good pitches here today. The amount of times I have said that is probably who come on. He is squeezing the zone. Well, how you know like me, sir? Now we're going to cut it. Oh, I need to listen to my catcher. At least a little bit. All right, and there goes the no hitter. Right? That was the first hit. Now catcher, Miguel. Oh, well. Still, still can throw a shutout. I mean, one hitter looks pretty solid as well. Really just trying to get caught up to triple A. He's going to call for a slayer. I can feel it in my bones. Oh. I don't think I'll for the four seamer. All right. I will oblige. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that we're sitting 97 because we are blowing fastballs by hitters. And our offense still hasn't done anything since the second inning. Now look. I don't know, fourth inning. Good play, though. 66 on the exit below there, so no chance of being called a solid fly ball. And that is... Hmm. That is a rough look for the brand. Hitting 237, 247. Usually you'd like to at least be good against righties or lefties. Not bad against both. It is what it is, though. Let's see if we can end this game under like 90 pitches. I'd really like to see if we get to pitch in the All-Star game. Probably save that opportunity for the next episode. And then just have it kind of like this one, you know, make that appearance before our start. But I'd like to be called up to play after this, honestly. That would be nice. Also, it would be nice to get more than two runs of run support. I mean, that's more than plenty, don't get me wrong. But it'd be cool to have some cushion. We ain't got no cushion right now. We got them old flat pillows. We ain't got them cushy soft ones. But we will work with what we got. And we will just keep on mo- Ooh, ooh, wait, no. The way to knock it down. Solid, I mean, 89 is, are we really calling that solid contact? I guess. 95. Still said 95, 97. Sinker is 90 to 92. I'd like that to be a little bit closer. Oh, good pitch. That's a banger. I just don't like throwing the slayer to the lefty so often. I mean, that's why we got the sinker and the circle change. So we can implement those. Shoot, even a cutter up and in. That's a nice pitch, though. I mean, we definitely Ooh, on the ground make a play somewhere. Hey, good play. I say we definitely throw a good serve. Still no run support. Man, why are you buttoned in the eighth inning? I mean, I understand y'all ain't really got no. Oh, it hits, but come on, man. That's going to look like a line drive up the middle in the scorebook. That was the one beautiful thing about if people don't watch the game. You can't tell if it was a bunt single, a high chopper, or just a line drive one hopper to an outfielder. All it says in the book is single. Move the pitch. Nah, missed the, missed the sinker there. Yeah. That's all right. He was looking at it anyways. And banger. Yes, sir. We'll see you, sir. Thanks for playing. Where are we at right now? 70? 75? 77. So if we can stay under 80, 
or stay at 80 with this. So, you know, we're looking for a three pitch strikeout. Ooh, good pitch. Oh, we need the punches right here. You bastard. It's not what you were supposed to do. Sir, I need you to stop. I need you to strike out. Sir. Why you no know, listen? Now I'm throwing circle change. You saw a swing. One ball, two strikes. Keep it going right here. Keep it going. Straight up, straight up. What are we doing here? Come on, man. I just need you to get out. Get out, sir. You are the nine hole hitter. Nine hole hitters don't do this. Ooh, did not throw that where I went. You just squared that up. I mean, no. He's not. Now, why couldn't you have done that like six pitches ago? Now I'm looking at like 90 pitches going into the ninth. Could have been sitting at 80. But no. You have to give me a 10 pitch AB and put me at 87. If we stay at 90, that means back to back to back. You know, one pitches. And it'll be a three pitch in. Oh, well, there went that. Well, let's try and stay under 100. Which is pretty reasonable still for a nine inning outing. And we still haven't gotten a run since the fourth inning. Yeah, I know. We're tired. We're at 90 pitches. So that's not a pun. Gee. Oh, we're at one strike anyways. What am I talking about? I would have thought we had two. But I was wrong. All right, whoa. And that's doors. Nope. I'm not able to get people out here in the uh, later innings for whatever reason. But here we go. Bang it. All right. We're sitting at 94. I really want to keep this. Oh, that works. Oh, come on. Get up. Make play. Make play. Oh, almost. Please don't take me out. Why are you like this? Let me finish the game. Don't you give up a run. Alright. Hey, I mean, we still go eight and two thirds. Four hits. First walk of the season. 14 punch outs. That's still a phenomenal start. AJ Alexi, AJ Alexi has 29 saves. I know a lot of them have come in our games. He has been phenomenal for us. I hope he pitches like this in our franchise series, which is also the White Sox. So, you know, be ready for that to come out. That should be coming up in a couple of days for some gameplay. Been getting a lot of series started. And that way, you know, we can get them off the ground at least. I do have Carlos Perez behind the plate. I say he's playing in the majors right now, so I forget that he started out kind of low this season. But I'll definitely take a major league catcher. We only had six hits. We had we had four in like the fourth inning. That means we got two hit the rest of the way. I mean, Kate Orton had a solid start, and the bullpen was apparently just disgusting because we got one hit in three innings. That was honestly a phenomenal game. Had a strikeout in every inning except the six. We had a four pitch inning. I did not did I not realize that that our inning went by that quick. But we got a gold perk. And an equipment pack. All right. We have already reached 250 strikeouts in a season at the All-Star break. That is wild. Hey, we got walks per nine up, cutter control, and slurve break. Really good start. All right. I don't want to sim forward here. So we are going to have to end it off right here because I want to... If we're going to play this game, I would actually like to play it, since it is the All-Star game. And then we wouldn't make our first start until right here. So, I mean, we... Man, that's a lot of rest. But I doubt we're going to pitch in the All-Star game since we just pitched the day before it. Honestly... 
If we can, oh, mm, I don't think we'll make the jump all the way up to the majors. Wouldn't mind, man. Honestly, that's probably what he's looking like with the Angels now. He was doing really well with us. Hey, you know, there for a couple months. But now, dude, he does not look good with the Angels so far. Oh, that's right. They traded for Cal Quantrill. Hmm. So they're seven starting pitchers deep. And why is Jimmy Lambert not over here? Uh, well, now they're not pitching because they have two set men. And these guys will get all the innings. Hmm. That, that's a weird... I don't know why that's like that. It's been like that for years. Where if you have two people in the setup role, neither one of them really ever pitch. Because look, you got 21, 35.2, 90, 39, and 60. Which he might have made... Yeah, he made a few starts. But still, you got, you know, probably close to a couple hundred innings between these three. I doubt he's made a start. Yeah, no starts. And no starts, yeah. So these four have through 39, 90, that's 129, uh, 159, 164. Yeah, 185, oh, 186 with the extra couple there. So 186 innings between these four, and between these two, there is 20 and two-thirds innings. The, probably the two best pitchers outside of Liam Hendricks in the bullpen. Not counting Mike Clevenger as a bullpen arm, but that is ridiculous. They, they've they got to fix that next year because, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. But anyways, that is going to do the end of – I mean, if you look, we are leading by f over 400,000 for, you know, to start the All-Star game. But if you're enjoying it, leave a like on the video, sub to the channel, leave a comment down below if there's something you want to see on the channel. Like I said, we've got this series, we've got the center fielder, we've got White Sox franchise, we've got Bulls Rewind franchise, we've got Texans franchise is our franchise in uh, Madden 24. I think that one's going to be really fun. Uh, it is going to be the regular Texans instead of, you know, me blowing up a team and starting with a whole bunch of like six, like 65 to 70 overalls. You know, it's going to be the regular team. You know, have made some moves between the first episode and now. So, you know, still going to be pretty well the same team. You know, it's just kind of trading away a couple of veterans to get some, you know, depth and some picks. And I think it'll work out pretty well for us. But that'll do it for me here. Like I said, leave a like, leave a comment, sub to the channel, all that fun YouTube stuff. Help the channel grow, help we get to more people. Show... You know, show at least one person this video. And I would very much appreciate it. And have them do all the same fun YouTube stuff. But I hope y'all having a good day. I hope you enjoy the videos. Have a blessed day. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.